funny you mentioned the West End area. A lot of new things happening there. Edward's going to tell us all about that. Hey, Edward. Well, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, Nina. Where'd you come from? I wish from? I had a fanny pack like yours. Everyone's going to need one. Okay, so co come back real quick, real quick. Um, okay. <laughs> your new place is in the West yeah. End. So the West End, they have built a new gauge, a new entrance. Public transit will drop people off, but they have so many new yeah. uh, shops and eating yeah. places. Yours is one of them. How's it feel to be over there? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's amazing. It feels great. I know a lot of people had a lot of sentimentality for the Heritage Square. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's going to be disappointed. That new area is stunning. I think you're right. Let's take some video. We have some video of uh, that new West End area. So buses will be dropping people off. Like 80% or so of people uh, will be dropped off at that new location. They can go in uh, and you just walk into... Uh, all of these shops, and it is gorgeous. We had someone from the State Fair, our friend, Brianna Schutte, stop by a little earlier to tell us all about it. Transit Hub is the first thing they're going to see because that's where the bus is going to be dropping them off. About a third of fair goers and about 80% of the bus routes coming to and going from the fair will be dropping off and picking up at that location. So when you get off the bus, you'll be right at the gate be so convenient. You'll walk in, uh, buy your ticket, come through the gates into this beautiful new plaza with um, this kind of grand promenade of flagpoles and flowers and gardens. And then uh, you can walk through the 1930s streetcar arch, or you can go to the West End Market, which is right next door. It's a brand new destination with shopping, uh, two premier new restaurant locations, and a bunch of other new food. The Minnesota State Fair History and Heritage Center, which celebrates our 150 years of State Fair history and a whole lot more. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff over there. Sounds Manny, really fun. by the way, seriously, this is so here? good. This yeah, is they're great. delicious. E even without the alcohol, it's still good. <laughs> it's still good. All right, so Nina's back with me. Well, yeah, we yeah, wanted to stuff. say we're at Carnes and Nelson. We've been talking about all morning the, the cool stuff that we're giving away. Who's still uh, at home working to memorize the Weather Watcher jingle? Because <laughs> I am. look at we have these <laughs> lovely bags that we're giving away that I'll tell you all about it. And these uh, fans, you got to have a fan at the state fair. And look, it says, I'm a fan. A pun, ladies. You know I love a pun. <laughs> oh, you do, oh, Nina. She loves a good pun. <laughs> this is like the best love morning ever for Perfect. Nina. Perfect. Come visit us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> On our website, we've compiled all the new foods to try. We also have a daily guide for what to see and what to do at the State Fair because stuff changes all the time. It's at WCCO.com slash State Fair. I know each day too there can be um, some discounts and different mm -hmm. things. Today is Thrifty Thursday so oh, if the I rain doesn't scare you you could save some bucks. Very nice. I know you